the most critical part <coughs> is when installing the orbiter is to get this uh, part very straight because otherwise when you are putting inside the filament um, and this is not aligned perfectly it will jam there don't ask me how i know it and now because i'm installing the um, extruder body with the uh, bigger uh, blade and with the hub that it has blinky <coughs> i had to switch the gears from this body to this body and i have to be careful how i align this if you ever want to dismantle this and you have to get this pin out you have here a place where if you drill a little bit you will be able to push this from this side do you see that place <coughs> is just there to guide you where you have to drill okay now that i have uh, installed all the heat set inserts fun fact is that i have to drill this to get out the idler because i was putting the idler door before inserting this heat set insert <laughs> and uh, i had to do it uh, ah okay i want to say something about the blade but i need to get it out first okay now with the blade out we install it with the japan logo you see alpha japan upwards because we want to have this angle it's not that much but it will help with a cleaner cut and here is a comparison to show you how much i um, cut from the original okay so straight uh, before the um, this round circle starts i will measure exactly so in total we cut eight millimeters so here we have uh, 30 uh, almost 37 and the original one is 35.5 35 point let's say five okay <clears throat> so this one uh, doesn't have to be shorter than 26.5 a small dab of super glue before inserting it into the place and as i said with the um, japan logo facing up and here in this hole to secure this to don't uh, fall out a uh, small piece of uh, ABS like this so this one now it will not fall out the blade so now when the springs when the spring it's uh, moving the lever out it will not go out all the way because we have this piece of filament here so <clears throat> I am using, uh, this is a 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench and I am putting it inside like this and with a big flat has, uh, screwdriver I am uh, screwing this in and I am using the um, Allen wrench because it's the only thing that is uh, close to 1.8 millimeter the maximum uh, <coughs> inside hole of this piece um, to can uh, guide it to be straight even though this allen wrench is not anymore straight but it's straight enough and now the final test when i'm inserting filament is going without and even when i'm pushing the, do the idle ladder let me show you from this part okay so every every time uh, when I'm inserting filament, it's going straight to Narnia. 
<laughs> if you ever want to know, uh, this is uh, six millimeter of uh, long the um, Capricorn tubing that I put inside. This upgrade, what we have, we have here a sensor that it detects when the filament is moving, and also it's a uh, here we miss a piece that uh, can be from uh, natural um, white uh, filament or transparent filament it will show you the status that blinky is moving and i routed the cables from here and connected to the end stop pins <coughs> be careful with uh, this because the colors are labeled ground 5 volt and uh, logic pin you can connect it as i told you in whatever uh, port you want just keep in mind that it's 5 volt ground and a logic pin hope you liked this uh, update and i will make a video <coughs> how to set up the cutter but until the video it will be ready we are cutting the filament at y0 and x0 like this so you can go at the x0 when you are not in uh, in the y0 it will touch the blade but it will not cut the filament but when you are coming here it will cut the filament